version, they've actually made it so it's a lot easier to actually debuff people people with elements. Because it's like with the Paralyze. The Paralyze and Poison on number one, it was just a complete waste of time. Even if you proper made a build around it, that gives it so like you, when you hit something with Paralyze or Poison, and it gives it more build up, still didn't do no. I'll try and... Oh no, I'm fighting his yokai form. As you can see, my attack from behind is pretty good. The main problem with this boss is he's been sent open a lot. That that's the best one you can get. The, if you get a yoke, if you get that yokai ability, that's like the best one you can get, guaranteed. Plus, to be fair, I've not even used any other yokai abilities. To be fair, so I've not really looked for them. But as soon as, literally, as soon as I got that, As soon as I got this yokai ability, it's the only one I've been using because one, it stuns them. When you hit them, it stuns them. For, and number two, it's a, it's kind of like a combo extender, so you can go like one, two, three, four, then do it because then it's like an extra two hits. But if you're doing it against bosses, it hits them and it stuns them. But if you're doing it, if you do it against normal enemies, it grabs them instead. So it does like. It's like what you saw, I did four point I did like four points with K with that one attack. Marvelous. Your final pitiless blow has sated that longing which clouded my heart. It looks pretty cool as well. Because the whole point of this DLC is about him. He was, I think, he was like, he was the first person that could go yokai. I think, like, he could actually go yokai form, and he could actually, he could actually hear them talking as well. He could actually talk to them. That's what obviously leads up to Neo One. Because obviously, this is set. This DLC set before the first one. 